You know, not all trips to the lake have to be a day-long driving adventure. Yeah, many times you only have to drive an hour or less to find an escape. This week we are going to the lake just about an hour outside the Twin Cities in Cold Spring. And that is where we find Kim Johnson and Kylie Burrs. Hi, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hello. Hey, Frank, I got to say, we did not run out of gas on our way up here. We did a good job <laughs> keeping an eye on that good gauge. Opener, Although, Kim. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did miss an exit. You did. So, so it took us a little longer yeah. than just an hour to get here today. But it was great. We've had an awesome time. You've been up here so many times, but this is my first experience in this area, and yeah. it's beautiful. Your first experience going to the lake, too. How is yeah. it so far? Oh, so much fun. Are you Isn't kidding? It? It's so fun. I can't yeah. believe that we're actually here for work. It doesn't feel like that. Well, right now, we are at the Rich Spring Golf Club on Schneider Lake, which you can see behind us. Absolutely beautiful. Kylie, I have to say that the rain has really cooperated for us today. It has. It seems to have rained every time that we wanted to go inside so when we were out on the boat earlier it was wonderful so right behind us we have the clubhouse here it's the Lakeview bar and grill and it's the only place on all of the lakes that you can actually go ahead and drive your boat up park and get out there we've got an awesome crowd out there today and Thursdays are men's league day so lots of golfers just came off yeah We're enjoying good cocktail lots of guys uh, I swear we did not plan that <laughs> as we mentioned the rich spring golf club is right between cold spring and Richmond which is clearly reflected in the courses name. It's an 18-hole championship course that is open to the public. The course offers views of Great Northern Lake, another lake in the Sauk River chain of lakes that surrounds this area. Cold Spring is really known for its industry. There's about 4,000 people who live here. Granite is their biggest business. The Cold Spring Granite Company was founded here in 1920. It's now the largest building granite producing plant in the world. Poultry, also another big business here with a golden plump plant that has nearly 1,000 employees. And of course, there's also also the Cold Spring Brewery that was founded back in 1874 and it's still going strong today. The best part is they have free tours. All you have to do is call ahead and schedule a time. So we put the link to all those, how you can get to all those places on WCCO.com slash links. I know I can't wait to try some of that uh, beer yeah. after the shows, of course, tonight. Of course, as you can see, there is so much to do in this Cold Spring mm -hmm. area, indoors, outdoors, you know, whatever the weather is. And that's what going to the lake is really all about, uh, finding ways to have fun no matter what the weather is. Uh, we have so much more to show you, though, coming up in just a bit. Well, we look forward to it. They have quite a crowd gathered there. Uh, that's awesome. And I just know. so you know, uh, Kylie, a veteran on these trips, uh, actually doesn't wait till the 10 o'clock to do drink the beer. They just do it constantly <laughs> through the show. Oh. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. We'll check Noted. in with you in a little Good bit to later. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Oh, boy. Uh, just keep I throwing that out there. People that are going to believe. Just dive right in, no. you know. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. <laughs> uh, I'm glad